do. He shoots, he shoots. He passes it back. He's only got the goalkeeper in the bit. Will he do it? Back. Oh, he shot the goalkeeper. Oh, he oh, 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 it down. Over. Come on, you've had your fun. No, we've still got extra time on penalties yet. Look, you've had too much to drink. What do you reckon? Come on, mate. I ain't your mate. Look, you lot, leave quietly or else we'll have to nick you for drunk and disorderly. What? You, prep man and girl wonder? Now, Sit come on. Oi. Oi. Come here. Get off oh. me. Right, I'm going to give you three seconds. Come here. One. Yeah, you love it. Two. You're right goer. Three. Nice try, babe. Ah! It ain't funny. Go ahead, It's all right, Vicky. Stand by. <laughs> that, uh, anybody else? You busted my leg. That's police brutality. How brutal do you want me to be? All yours, Blondie. Thanks. Got a face like a smacked ass. What if you've got a problem? Out with it. You didn't give that bloke a chance. Oh, I've got you. I'm supposed to work out if he's had a deprived child or before I knock him flat. It's supposed to be necessary force. It was necessary. He had backed off. Oh, yeah. What do you think would have happened if we hadn't turned up when we did? Well, he could handle it. Yeah, I can see that. But what if he makes a complaint? He won't. He'll be as good as gold. One too many Sherpas, that's all. Probably not getting enough at home. Wanted to show off to his mates. He could pull a Doris. <sighs> well, what's wrong now? Nothing. Right, are you going to be sick? She's sick. She's the one who's sick. Right, because if you are, Then they just... can wait until they get to the cells. Mm. I'll hold a drink. OK. What's your name? Tony, you should have seen it. Michael Wallace. No messing, straight in there. Don't Whack. do it! Blow went down like a Norwegian spruce. Yeah, well, that's Tavner, all right. Never been subtle. It's a mistake! It's a trap! Yeah, he was in the robbery squad, wasn't he? Yeah. Mm. We've got a wedding to get to. Really? Oh, I've never guessed. She had no experience, none. I told her. Shh. Sleep around, get some action. OK, can you turn your pockets out, please? Yeah, please. She hasn't even slept with him. I mean... You ought to try before you buy. You've got a bloke out there attacking and raping women, and you go out and nick drunks and motorists. Well, so it's our fault now. You have to admire the simplicity of a violent act. What are you talking about? Saturday. Don't worry. You'll make it. Tony, Tony, you... How long have you been at Sunnell? Long enough. Who should I look out for? What do you mean? Who can I rely on? Who's dodgy? Who's the governor screwing? Stop, do you? <laughs> it's not you, is it? No, it isn't. I was going to say. Not that I mean, you know, you're all right looking for a... For a what? Well, if you just smiled a bit more often. For a what? A Doris. Look, I'm a new boy. I need to know these things. I mean, after all, Sun Hill doesn't exactly have a shining reputation at the moment. Undeserved. Really? Half your CID was bent and the other half were tearing the strips off each other. At least that's what I heard. You heard wrong. He's up to no good. Oi! I want to work with you. Here! What have you been up to? Nothing. I've been to a point and I'm on my way home. Where's home? 
Manly Road? It's just off the Silver Dean. That's where nice house is up there. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? It means it's a long way from here. I was going to cut across Canley Fields. It's time of night. So where was this party? Mate's house. Mate got a name? Yeah, Kieran. Kiers, we're at college together. What are you studying? Fine art. What's that the art of? Breaking and entering? It's a foundation course. What were you doing on the back of the chemist? I wasn't doing anything. I saw you coming out. <laughs> you got him banged to a rights officer. <laughs> I was caught short and it was open, so... Let's go and have a look, shall we? Now, I'm sorry, madam. Having a leak in your bathroom does not warrant a 999 call. Now, what you need is an emergency plumber. Where did you see this man? And you say he exposed himself to you. Did he touch himself at all? Uh, technically, Sarge, we're not supposed to have drinks in the cabin. I see. That's right, Ridge. Technically, I've made you one. I think we'll send someone around to take a look. We'll come to you. All right, thank you very much, Mrs Brown. What was all that about? Flasher, in the back garden. Anywhere near the Jasmine Allen? Jasmine Street, three blocks away. That uh, could be him, Sergeant. Miss Munro wants to know if anything that happens on the estate, that's all. Yeah, because he could strike again. He will, until we catch him. It's a black thing, isn't it? What's your name, kid? Conrad. Been in trouble with the police before. Am I in trouble now? I don't know. Oh! What's this? Oh, come on, Des. Don't try and pull that one. Is this what we're going to use to break in? There's all sorts of stuff lying around. It means nothing. Why don't you leave the kid alone? Look, I had a pee up against that wall, and that's all. Rich? If you fancy coffee, you know where the machine is. Oh, Sarge, yeah. <laughs> that was a bit mean. He cramps my style. Uh, is that what you call it? I really ought to put out that call. Got any proof of identification on you? No. Empty your pockets. Is this absolutely necessary? The kid's giving you an explanation. I decide what's necessary and what's not. Oh, hoping to get lucky, where we? Zero one, zero one, zero, Oscar receiving. Go ahead, Vicky. Jasmine Street, report to the prowler. Man exposing himself. Informant, Miss Brown. Four nine, Jasmine Street. Can you deal? Show us dealing. What do you want to go and do that for? We're the nearest, and there's been a number of attacks in the area. You haven't been anywhere near the Jasmine Allen tonight, have you? Where? Looks like it's your lucky night. We'd better get a move on. I'm the driver. I call the shots. Yes, no. Is something wrong? No, it's just my leg. Resisting arrest, Sarge. The other bloke, the new bloke, he got a bit physical. How physical? Well, there's no complaints, is there, Michael? No. No complaints. Drop your trousers. You what? I want to look at your leg. Probably got that playing football. Probably. I'm telling you, he's a show off. He's all man's and trousers. How comes you know so much about him? Oh. You're my driving course. I didn't think he was that old. <laughs> well, be careful she doesn't swallow right. her tongue. He was released four hours ago. Something's going back to the hospital. Yes, we I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What? Well, no, it is. Who what is? The bloke you're after. You're talking about a mate of ours. The rapist. He's been inside before. Lives in the same block as us. He's the one you're looking for. It's getting too, innit? I can think of worse places to be. But you'd rather be out there. Am I supposed to be impressed by your perception? Not really. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? All quiet on the Jasmine Allen? Uh, so far, sir. Anything of any interest? It's the usual mix of garbage and paranoia. <laughs> Who have we got out there? 
Uh, Sierra Oscar two are covering it, but they brought some bodies in. Nothing serious. A couple of ladettes. Drunk and incapable. I want them back on the estate ASAP. High visibility. And what's this? Prowler on Jasmine Street. Sierra One, dealing. The new bloke, Tavener. Who's with him? Die. Okay, well, let me know if there are any developments. No drinks in here, Reg, you know that. Well, whoever it was has long gone. Well, he was right there, right where you are now. Can you describe him? He ran off as soon as I looked up. But you saw what he was doing. It was also quick. You saw him expose himself. The last girl who was attacked was out there in those fields. They were playing rugby on them the next day. I, I was petrified. I, I screamed, and then he was gone. Or was he black, white, short, tall, blonde? What about his clothes? I'm sorry, I, I'm not a very good witness, am I? No, you're not. It's understandable. You've, you've had a shock. Well, I hope I haven't wasted your time. Well, maybe you'll think of something later. Look, what if he comes back? Call us, don't hesitate. I feel such a fool. Well, that was a waste of time. You think she's seeing things? I didn't say that. But it was obvious the fellow was going to be long gone by the time we got it. Perhaps if we weren't hassling innocent kids. Don't you mean innocent black kids? Well, that's what you meant, isn't it? Three women have been raped in this area in as many months. Of course, I wouldn't expect you to know that being you. But I would expect you to show some common courtesy to a lady who's been scared witless. Maybe she didn't have any wit to begin with. Oh, I can't wait till this week's over with. What's that? Either Waddle's off the car, or I am. Has she upset you? I'm not working with her. And before you ask, it's nothing to do with her sex, colour or creed. What then? She's clueless. Well, don't sit on the fence. She is. She hasn't got a clue. Out there on the street, she's a liability. Took her up in a nice cosy cad room where she can play with the consoles and chat to little old days falling up to complain about kids throwing stones. But don't ever, ever post her on the car with me again. Who do you want to replace, sir? Hollis! That's who he's asked for, sir. <sighs> what is it with Reg? Is it a race thing? Mm, no. I don't think so, sir. More of a personality clash. To be fair, Sir Di is a bit of a station cat. What you mean is her skills lie elsewhere. If that's the way you want to put it, sir. But it could be more trouble than it's worth to swap Stamp and Taverner over. Well, if you're happy... Happiness doesn't come into it. Taverner's a bully. But if he pulls a sickie, we're down a driver. Reggie is, then. Before we start, Reg, a few ground rules. The right-hand side of the car is my side of the car. I own it. I let you rent the left-hand side. You only enter the main set if and when I tell you. You only accept the call if and when I tell you. I do not do abandoned traces. I do not do sense hold up alarms. And I do not do domestics. Other than that, anything goes. What gets said and done in the car stays in the car. And that cuts both ways. Any questions? Yeah. Why me? Reg, I'm insulted that you ask. Your reputation precedes you. Does it? You are the main man. Am I? Oh, the man's a pig! He wanted you off the car. Insisted. And Sergeant Gilmore backed him up. That's outrageous. What reason did he give? He wanted someone with more experience. That's bull. Excuse me. Any chance of doing any work? You're going to sit there bitching all night. This is righteous indignation. It's hardly bitching. All men are pigs. Tracy, this is DC Case. Danny. Danny Glaze. He wants to ask you a few questions. Apparently you've got some information. Have I? Something to do with the recent attacks on women in the area. A weird bloke. Look, if this He's is... got a record. 
Have you got a name? Lemano. Lenny Lemano? Yeah, that's him. Black bastard. What makes Lenny Lemano your prime suspect? My other half knows him. Your other half? They're not mates or nothing. He did time at Long Marsh. Who, your other half or Lemano? They both did. My Baz was doing two for thieving. Lemano was a sex case. All 40, what's it? His girlfriend's a slapper that lives beneath us. Well, we've already had Lamano in for questioning, and he had an alibi, and it checked out. Oh. Then question him again. It's not as simple as that. My Baz says he's at it. Oh, and your Baz has got evidence, has he? The bloke's a kiddie fiddler. What more do you need? Thanks, Sarge. There's nothing I can use here. He exposed himself to Sharon on the stairs. Huge! Sharon? Yeah. I don't think you're going to get much out of her. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make a note of it, and when your friend's a little more, we'll talk, yeah? Calm your way now. Safer where you are, aren't you? I'm sorry about that. Passes the time. Besides, won't give me a chance to look up Mamani's details again. Mm. Monroe's all right. We'll give you back up for anything you want to do. As long as you're not out of order. Bit stiff, though, isn't it? Well... Some bloke went loony tunes, didn't he? What happened there? It's Dave Quinnan. He had a bit of a breakdown, that's all. Donald, wasn't he? Hey? Donald kebabbed, stabbed. He nearly lost his life. What about the sergeants? June Ackland, she's very reliable. About the old Doris, yeah. Yeah, well, you won't get any trouble out of her. Matt Boyden, he can be a bit funny. He prefers the easy life. He's a bit of a ladies' man as well. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. You're not married, are you, Reg? No, well, unfortunately, I've yet to meet the right person. You have to be very special. Yeah. And what about Gilmore? He hasn't been here very long. Bandit, isn't he? He's of the homosexual persuasion, if that's what you mean. <laughs> Who persuaded him? That's not natural, though, is it? I don't know about that. Now two women you can understand. Can you? Well, doesn't that get your juices going? Not really, no. What does float your boat, Reg? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. You're pulling my plonker. The average man's supposed to think about sex something like every six seconds. Hmm. Well, perhaps I'm not the average man. I'll say that again. It could be any one of them. If we went over there now, guaranteed at least one of them would be carrying something. The bloke they're looking for is black, though, isn't he? And what's that supposed to mean? Well, most of those kids are white. And that makes them innocent, does it? We're all culpable in a modern society, Anthony. Mm. What? Oh, I'm just yanking your chain, mate. I'm just bored. Fed up with having to sit here because a group of know-it-all councillors decided it would buy them votes in the long run. Tolerant, high-profile policing, that's what the residents want. And did anyone ask them that? I guess not. Exactly. They know that we know that they know we can't touch them for anything less than a major offence. You lost me. We're a target. Well, it beats picking up your new berate, your bridesmaids. I feel like spam in a can. Always drive around the block again, if you like. Oh, could we? Hi, hi, Dutch. This looks interesting. Can we help you girls? Wait for the night bus. Night bus? <sighs> hey, where do you live? Epping. Epping? That's a long way out, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's why we're waiting for a night bus. Can't afford a cab, can we? I don't know about that. Nice guy. Shifty gear, Reg. Why? 
Well, we can't let these ladies walk home, can we? But they're waiting for a bus. Yeah. Well, there'll be one in ten minutes. Well, don't let them know that. These are two very attractive young ladies. Don't make it so obvious. What? There's a rapist going round, isn't there? Yeah. Well, how would you feel if one of these girls was attacked? Look, there is two of them. You do the maths. Let me do the thinking. Now shift your gear. Won't be a minute, girls. Epping's way off the ground. Looks like your lucky night. Joy, aren't you supposed to be on the area call? I was. Just having I got to the elbow. Why? Face didn't fit. This hasn't got anything to do with the bloke that Polly just brought in, has it? Why? I just heard that Tavener was a bit heavy-handed. Hmm, he's the type who likes to go in fists first. Did the bloke make a complaint? Not officially. Why? Would he have grounds? I'd complain if I was him. If you think excessive force was used, you should report Tavener. What's the point? Oh, was it excessive? He hit him once. The bloke had hold of Polly. Explain it. What? Polly's standing up for him. But he'd let go by the time Tavana hit him. Yeah, once, sir. Doesn't exactly sound excessive. Have you spoken to Mr. Monroe? No. Well, if you're concerned, you really should talk to him, even if it's not official. Hmm. Would you like me to speak to him? Would you? Hmm. Leave it with me. So, what do you girls do? Hells Bells is a legal secretary. And I work on a perfume counter. Must be why you smell so nice. <laughs> Are you boys supposed to do this? Oh, we do it all the time. Don't we, Reg? I bet you do. Well, help young ladies in distress. You did say you'd had your purse stolen, didn't you? <laughs> you know what your problem is, Di? You're too passive. I'd never let a bloke treat me like that. He's a colleague, not a boyfriend. You've still got to let him know the rules. Vicky, I did speak up. I said what I felt. That's why I'm here and he's still out there. Yeah. Doing my job. <laughs> if she wants to complain, she should do it herself. Well, I don't think she wanted to make it official. Then what are you telling me for? Because I thought you'd like to know. Well, the prisoner isn't making a complaint. Di isn't making a complaint. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, have words. It's only just started. Exactly. You need to know what kind of copper he is, and he needs to know what kind of governor you are. If he steps out of line, I'll be onto him like a ton of bricks. But it needs more than the mewlings of a disgruntled PC and a limping lager lout. The point is... I'm oh, sorry, have I interrupted something? Apparently Des Taverner was overzealous with the prisoner. Oh, I don't doubt it. Is there an official complaint? No. Oh, no worries then. Can't make an omelette without breaking a few legs. <laughs> well, aren't you... What? I thought you'd I be... I may be in touch with my feminine side, June, but I have still got hairs in my chest and a full lunchbox. Uh, boys will be boys, that's it, is it? June! Uh, you wanted to know when I was popping up to the Jasmine Allen, sir. Oh, right. Now. Do you live far? The next street. What happens if you get a call? Well, we're out of radio range, but we have got the main set. The what? This one here. Sorry? Uh, that one. Your friend, uh, she's not like you, is she? How do you mean? Well, you're not, uh... You're much quieter. You don't so much yourself. I can talk. Believe me. Oh, well, I 
come in and take down your particulars. <laughs> I can't believe you came out with that line. Well, I thought it was a bit more polite than I'll buy a cookie. My parents are in. Oh. That's not exactly the line I wanted to hear either. See ya. Did you get your statement? No, but I got... Oh, sorry, love. Uh, do you want shopping off as well? End of the raid all day. We should call for backup. Oh, I'm not having to have the trapes all the way down. Just have a laugh at us. Thank you very much. Oh, no. What, are they coming back? Worse than that. It's the governor. Any Sierra Oscar unit, Central Station Alarm. Bors Pharmacy, 2 Berg Holt Road. Any Sierra Oscar unit take? 469. We'll take over. Yeah, thanks, Polly. You're showing CAD 305. Slow night. 305 calls and it's only 20 to 1. Did you say Paul's Pharmacy? Yeah, why? No reason. Did you see who did it? We didn't see him, but we know who it was. No, he did well not to respond. I'm not sure we're using the right tactics. There's only so far you can push tolerance. Well, they know we can't react. This place can go up like a powder keg if you over-police it. We're here for one reason and one reason only. To make the politicians look good. That's right, Sarge. We should sort the little thugs out, sir. Well, we need to win the residents of this estate over. That means we need to be seen to be doing the right thing. Or well, if the residents were to peep out of their windows right now, they'd see us being made to look like right prats. There's a lot of single mums on this estate. I'm sure they're happy just to be seeing you at all. On that block there, Tennyson Court, number 15. Sarah Kember, 23. Raped at knife point while her two-year-old slept in a cot. Around the back of here at the playing fields, Janet Harvey was raped, punched in the face and almost choked on her own broken teeth. The third victim was Rachel Ryder. She lives at Haygarth Court. She was lucky in that her eight-year-old disturbed her attacker. But the next time, he might not run off. Has this Taverner been made aware of these new tolerance levels? You got a problem with Taverner? Not at all, sir. But he's not the most even-tempered bloke, is he? He may not be the area car driver we want, but he is the area car driver we've got. So, when you're not behind the wheel, Tony, we have to make do with him. Get this cleaned up. It's a disgrace. Yes, Sarge. I think he lent us a pair of his marigolds. This is how he got in. And It's hard to tell. How do we know what's been nicked? You do a stock take. You're the key holder. Yeah, it's my name above the shop. Right, well, I'm not sure we've got time for a stock take, Mr Kapoor, but if you give us a rough idea of what's gone missing... I'll do my best. Thanks.
You ordered yet? Yep. And I got a discount. Hmm. You gonna call her? I might do. She's a bit on the young side. You not married then? Do I lucky? I just wondered why you'd never met that uh, special person, eh? You like it, don't you? Any drinks? Yeah, coffee. Two coffees. Who? The legal secretary or whatever she was. She was pleasant enough, yeah. Ah. Did you get a number? No, I didn't like to ask. Never mind. I got the next best thing. Oh, yeah. A mate's phone number. The three steps to heaven, Reg. <laughs> Step one, you find a girl to love. Step two, she falls in love with you. Step three, you get your best mate to phone her best mate and find out what her number is. Hot and spicy to go. You forgot the coffee. So I take it the target was the drugs cabinet? Looks like they've taken amphetamines mostly. Possibly some tranquilizers. Anything else? Like I said, I'd have to do a proper stock take. But I don't suppose I can do that until after the men in paper coats have been. Well, they need to check the window and the door and where the drugs are kept. But your stock's probably been handled by all and sundry, so there's not much point fingerprinting that. See, ID will be round tomorrow to take a statement. Save it till then, yeah? Thanks. Sierra Oscar from 469 receiving. Go ahead, Polly. Yeah, result Bergholt Road. Is that the pharmacy? Yeah, there's been a break in. Keyholders on the premises, but we're going to need a crime number before we leave. What was taken, Paul? Drugs, probably an addict. Okay, the crime number is SO400084 stroke 1B. Won't last forever, you know. Won't be long before you're back behind the wheel. I was very good at my job, Sarge. That's why it hurts. I know. But like I said, it won't last forever. Is that all you can offer? That's what you wanted to hear. Tony Stamp killed a pedestrian. He didn't get burned. No, but he was suspended pending an investigation. You know what I mean. And now this new bloke comes along and we all know he's some sort of chancer. He'd been off watch for the last hour. Mechanical breakdown, he can't help that. Yeah, right. I made a snap decision. A child's life was at stake. I and mean, what was I supposed to do? Sit back and watch? Of course not. No, I did the right thing. And now they're slaughtering me for it. Don't tell me. How could you miss it? be good, Danny. No, it's bad. Very bad. Sarge, you interviewed Lenworth Lamont about the recent rapes. Yeah? He had an alibi, his girlfriend. Well, on every night except the bank holiday. And his alibi is his girlfriend, Jill Harris. What's your point? Well, the point is she lives on the Jasmine Island. Yeah, we know that. Two of the victims live on the Jasmine Island. You... It's a very big estate. The third victim, Janet Harvey, was attacked on the rugby fields. Why? What do you mean, why? Because her car broke down and she was particularly annoyed about it because she just had the vehicle serviced. Uh, hang on. I don't understand. She had it serviced at Benson's? Danny! Lemworth Lamanu is a qualified mechanic and guess where his probation officer fixed him up with a job? Yeah. Get the details, leave them on my desk, and I'll deal with it in the morning. Don't you think we... I said I'd deal with it in the morning. Tony. What? There's a geezer over there watching us. And? Well, he's watching us. 
So? Well, he fits the description. Is he male? Yeah, of course he's male. I see three. Yes. Under 50. Well, well, he's gone now. Good. Would you think maybe we should go and investigate? Investigate what? The only description of the attacker we've got is he's any age between 15 and 50, and he's an IC3, which amounts to no description at all. Yep. You're right. I want to get back to writing your fairy tales. We can start a race right another time. Shh. Can't you go back to sleep? Turn Jack Queen on the bounce. Oh, it's too high for me. Oh, look at that. £2.50 I've paid for that. Ace King Queen. Shouldn't split your hand. Pair of aces. Oh. I'm not doing pretty well. Yeah. Run, egg pipe. <laughs> Pair of toes. Can we get a while of tot? What's all this? Pizza! Yes! Oh, somebody's got money to bed. How much do we owe you? My treat. Oh, oh no, my mistake. Somebody's got more money than sense. Who are you trying to get round? Not you, Jim. Looks like you've got enough under your belt already. How to win friends and influence people, eh? Take me as you find me. Didn't we get a vegetarian one? Yeah, there. See your wines over there? No, that's pineapple and ham. Can I pick the pineapple off? No, I'm man after my own heart. You must be Cass. Yeah, no, do you know? The Red said there was another gobby scouse. Well, I didn't say it quite like that. But you better not have. What's that word you use, Reg? Uh, gregarious. Gregarious, that's it. Gobby and posh. You better watch your step. That scouse for how you fancy becoming a eunuch. <laughs> so what's he like then, Reg? How do you mean? Well, come on, you're a good judge of character. Yeah, well, people do seem to have seeked my opinion of late, yeah. So why did he get diabooted off the car? Oh. He's a friend. You better ask him. Anyone want my anchovies? you're doing. I know you're watching me. Leave me alone. Harassment, that's what this is. Harassment. That's him. Who the hell was that? That was Lenny Lamarno. <laughs> yeah. I know what you're doing. How do you mean? Pizza, the banter, the machismo. You perfected an act. I think you've mistaken me for some other bloke. One that gives us shite. Besides, no, I've got your number. Let's set a few ground rules first. Today was an exception. You're new, you haven't even met half the relief yet. And the benefit of the doubt was yours. But you don't assign duties. I do. Oh, I get it. The mood he once been given at some. What's she do? Flash a big cow eyes at you. No, come on. Of all people, that's not going to influence me, is it? <laughs> Don't tell me you haven't heard. Heard what? Oh, you're embarrassed. OK, well, let's get it all out in the open, shall we? I'm a shirt-lifting uphill gardener who used to work in a fudge-packing factory. I'm a sausage jockey, a bender, a fruit bum bandit. I drop my anchor in a foreign port and I picnic in the shade. I bat for the other team. Mo, homo, ginger beer, queer, queen. Any I've left out? No. I think that's just about covers it. What I am not is a pushover. Now you may not like what I am. And I may not like what you are. But I've got the stripes, and you haven't. Sarge. Right, put a call out. Sierra Oscar units, all Sierra Oscar units. Canley Field. Sun Hill, can I help you? Reports of a woman screaming. Yeah, Sun Hill. Where did you hear the screams? You saw a man running away from a where? A man fitting the description has been seen running away from the place. 518 Tomway. 625 received Tomway. Oh,
Sierra off the two with two minutes flight showing. Sierra one showing. Sierra Oscar, Sierra Oscar 2 receiving. We're on the scene now. Nothing so far. We will keep you posted. Over. What's the situation? Still getting cool, sir. Too many for it to be a hoax. No one's found anything yet. Are you going up there, Danny? Yes, sir. I'll come with you. Anything? Not yet. Do no good sitting in the van, you know, Tony. Sometimes you have to get out and walk. Hello, Des. Nice to see you here. We'll go round the other side. You make your way towards us. Who made him the boss? I feel useless sitting here. Of this woman, Sally? Sally? Jim! The latest report we've got is over near the cafe. We're the nearest to the Well, come on, we're not having to get in here first, do we? Half the Mets turned up. Anything? Uh, Ros Clark and Jim Carver have found a shoe. What kind of a shoe? Sergeant, Hello, ladies, it. sir. I repeat, we found her. It's all right, love. I can't hate you anymore. Wait in. I'll look after you. See how we found her. It's Lynn Roberts, isn't it? You know the lady? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> he had a knife. Then he threatened to cut me. <laughs> Get a good look at him. <laughs> Des, I'll take care of her, yeah? Thank you. Have they got a description of the attacker yet? Die. Circulate the previous description. If he's still in the area, you never know. All Sierra Oscar units, attention call to previous suspect's description. Be on the lookout for a male IC3, 20 to 35 years old. Um. 
bit of a letdown, really. What are you talking about? That's probably one of her clients, wasn't it? Didn't want to stump up the cash. Lynn Roberts is a well-known prostitute, so? so it's hardly the same, is it? Well, I don't know about that, Tom. The lady was raped. She goes through 10 to 15 punters a day. I don't believe this. Well, you don't think they're all paid, do you? No. Well, exactly. So is that rape as well? Look, it's not when it's at night point. It's not when you're walking home. Not when it puts you in fear of your life. Oh, of course it is. I mean, hardly a week goes past without some Tom or other being threatened or hit. Par for the course, and it goes with the territory, like AIDS and hepatitis C. I don't see that it makes any difference. Well, I'll tell you what the difference is. At least it wasn't a schoolgirl, or some young mum, or somebody's wife. I know what your problem is. You're one of her clients, aren't you? Stop! Leave it out, lads. Nobody deserves what she got. Hey. It's not a playground. <sighs> it's a nutter. You were a little bit out of order there, Tony. Let me get you seen by a doctor. They'll need to examine you, yeah? You'll be fine. Thanks, Ben. We've got the name of a new suspect. Really? Lenworth Lamanu. He's been out for about four months now. Served time for raping a mother and assaulting a teenage daughter. So he's on the register then? Yeah, yeah, he is. Have we interviewed him? DS McAllister did. Apparently, his girlfriend lived on Tennyson Court, provided him with an alibi. Right, we're going to have to rope off the area, sir. Scale down the search. Conditions are getting difficult. We might be losing more evidence than we're finding. OK, I'll leave that in your hands. Yes, sir. Sir. Maybe... I won't worry about Tony, he's just a bit, you know. Something doesn't smell right. This guy's never gone for the prostitute before. Either he's getting more desperate or... We're missing something. Got a bag there, Reg. Yeah. Kapoor's pharmacy. We're going to catch the bastard who did this. This is the line. Here, now. What are you doing there? You are a disgrace. I intend to have words with my local MP about this. Raj, you're a genius.